was really like. We're not seeing leaders, we're seeing deal makers. Deal makers. Genocide and torture are just another thing to be negotiated. As supposedly liberal MSNBC even says, yeah, well, maybe we do have to torture people sometimes. No. Torture is never okay. That's what we used to stand for when people looked up to us. And I think the thing that both disappoints and scares me the most about the Barack star dropping the basketball and going away is why aren't the war criminals being brought to fucking justice? People in other countries are watching us very carefully over that. This is a huge issue to them. And it's a fucking huge issue to me because if we don't go after them for torture, murder, stealing elections, bribery, you name it, now, after 2012, over 2016, when they all get back in, then they're really gonna fuck people over because they know they can get away with anything now. And until Obama show some fucking leadership in bringing the war criminals to justice. How can I take him or his administration or his party seriously about fucking anything? Otherwise, how different is it from this, really? Same defense secretary, and that defense secretary, Robert Gates, was number two to William Casey when he was running the Contra War, where our terrorists killed 30,000 people, financed them with drug running by people like Oliver North, and got the crack epidemic off the ground. You don't send those people to jail, they come back only worse. Yeah. Or though maybe it's us who's letting them all, letting Obama down by not giving him enough grief in the streets. Don't get quiet, get louder. Especially, especially if this happens, Hillary Clinton comes to town. Same old story on human rights. Down in Troy, out in the field. Fire for sure, son. Pretend this is the end of this encore while we fix Ralph's equipment, it appears. <laughs>